This is Narrowboat Tea and Oranges. She is a 55 foot Dutch barge style narrowboat built in 2000 by Cyrus Yachts Limited and fitted out by Cyrus Yachts Limited. So first of all, I've had a couple of inquiries about tea and oranges already and the first thing I've been asked, is she a wide beam or is she a narrowboat? She's definitely a narrowboat, she is six foot 10 wide. There you go, we're just there on the beam now, you can see. It, she does look wider and that's because of the front design of it. It's higher up, it's um, just obviously more of a styling thing and also offers more storage at the front of the boat, which I'll show you in a second. So let's go around and first of all, you see that it's got a flagpole at the front. And then when we step on board, I'll show you into the gas locker. Just move the lava way out of the way. It does hang down the side there nicely. So there you go. Gas bottle, 213 kilograms. The gas bottles there, both hooked up and they've both got a changeover switch just there. Also, there is an anchor with rope. And as you can see, the locket is in generally good condition. No water in there and no rust. So then if we step back, we've got a locker underneath. So inside the locker, first of all, extra storage space right at the front. And then we've got the bow thruster equipment. So you've got the battery isolator and then to the left, you've got two batteries and then the bow thruster motor on top of the tube. So at the minute, the bow thruster isn't advertised. Um, on the way here, the bow thruster did stop working. So it, is, it hasn't been advertised as a working bow thruster, okay? And then something else I'll quickly want to show you is, if you just go down, you can just about see, there we go, the water tank. So it's stainless steel water tank. The water tank holds approximately 440 litres of water. And there is also an access point inside the boat, which I'll show you as we go through the video. So also we've got the two bench seats. There we go. They do have cushions inside the boat. Um, so nice warm day, get them put on. And now it's just stored in there because um, it's, well, winter at the minute. Got a tunnel light. And then on the other side, we've got the horn. And then we've got wooden doors, wooden frame, glass. So that's plenty of lighting. And then there's your water fill point as well. So let's carry on down the boat. So first of all, we've got the aerial for the TV and this is on a hinge. So if we take that bolt out, you can put it down for when going under low bridges and tunnels so you don't break it. Also, oh, there we go. Got navigation lights, port and starboard lights. There's also an astern light as well. Windows, gold anodized frames going all the way down the boat, different shapes and sizes. See the paint works in good condition. They have done a few touch-ups, as you can see just here, um, but that's obviously stopped the rust from coming through, which they've done a really good job at doing. Got a center line there, strong point, and then you can see various mushroom vents going down the boat. So carry on down here, we got the pump out point, and then carry on, and then we come to the wheelhouse. So step to get onto the um, roof, Main hook up, currently hooked up, just got the battery charger on, just making sure the batteries are nice and tacked up. And then we got this really, really nice pram cover. So originally, Teen Oranges had a wooden um, wheelhouse and she spent the um, first part of her life on the Thames, so it was ideal. But to come on the network, rather than have to keep taking the wheelhouse down all the time, they've had a pram cover put on. It's easy to take down, easy to put up. Also, there is a tonneau cover on board as well, so you can take your pram cover off and just have the tonneau cover on. And then as we come down, I'll show you the wheelhouse in a second. Come to the back of the boat. So you've got your stern navigation light, got bike rack, two bikes, that's great. And you'll see you've got a door um, as well, so rear access from the wheelhouse. And there's your diesel fill point with your ventilation as well. And then, if you just look, uh, there you go. There's access to the steering equipment as well. And then there we go, tea and oranges as well painted at the rear. So let's go inside the wheelhouse. So inside the wheelhouse, first of all, start at the back. So I said you've got rear access, rolls up, the cover rolls up as it does on every access. Currently got one rolled up on the port side 
and you can have it rolled up at the front as well. So seats at the rear, also offer storage. Got a nice stool here for when you're steering. And again, if you look under the doorways, plenty of storage. I'll show you the helm controls in a minute. Battery isolators are just there as well for starter and domestic. And then again, more storage. A good little thing here. It's um, currently lifted up if I drop this board down. Gives you more space to stand whilst cruising. So if you do need to look over the starboard side when you're cruising, you're not going to fall down the steps. Great little idea. And then we come on to the controls. So it's wheel operated. And then if I just show you this, if I turn the controllers on. So there we go. So you've got fuel tank gauge, which is showing it's three quarters full. You've got a rudder, rudder angle indicator. Now that's a good bit of kit to have. So if I just go to port, there you go, it's going to port. And then back to midships again. There we go, midships. Got all these lights here as well. So your tunnel lights, your navigation lights, and horn. Horn works. And then you've got your control panel to the bow thruster. So if I turn it on, it has got light to it. So hopefully the, um, as I say, the tunnel, the bow thruster is currently unoperative, but it's probably just a relay or something like that. And then the port and starboard when it is working. Okay, just turn that off. And then you've got your Morse, Morse controller here, forward and astern. Okay then. So what I'll do next is I'll get the engine boards up and let you have a good look at the engine. Right then, the engine. So we have a Barish Shire 45 horsepower, four cylinder with a PRM 150 D3 gearbox. And then carrying on down, we have an aqua drive and then we have your traditional steering gear with a grease adjust there. So if I look directly under me, there we go, there's the heavy spatcher, diesel heater, and then if we follow around we have the chlorifier. So the chlorifier is heated three ways, via the engine when it's running, the heavy spatcher diesel heater, and then you've got the immersion heater element which is on the top there. Carry on coming back round, there we go, we've got the batteries which are four domestic and one starter. So a bit of history about the engine. The hours are unknown. Unfortunately, the hour clock is no longer working and the engine was last serviced in May 2021. Right then, let's go take a look inside the boat. Okay then, so we're stepping into the boat from the front. Just turn around and we got the saloon area. So let's just tell you a bit about the fit out. So spray foam for the insulation and the wood is oak and the trim. We have carpeted sides and then if we just look up, Got a tongue and groove ceiling that's been painted white for a bit of a modern feel. Okay, let's start at the front. So, under here, if you just lift that back, is an access hatch to the um, water tank, so you do have two points of access to it. And then we've got a cupboard in here, also a bit of a wardrobe as well if needed, hanging coats up and stuff. And then underneath there is your water pump and accumulator. Um, it's very dark down there, you won't see it, so I won't bother lifting it up. As I said, here is the tonneau cover, also cushions for outside. So, sit outside in comfort, and then you come across to the TV. So, TV is mains, you can see there. And then, got a radio CD player, and then more cupboard space underneath with a couple of shelves. As I said earlier, there are your boat poles and boat hook. Just left them inside for um, just to keep them dry and to, uh, for security reasons. And then we have the sofa bed here as well. There we go. So it does convert into a double bed. Got a privacy curtain here, comes across the whole way. And then you come to the dinette. Dinette also converts into a double bed and also offers additional storage as well. So there you go, some drawers, and then you can lift up again for storage. Table just drops onto the wood just there. And then we come to the galley area. So beautiful cupboard here, glass doors, you can access it either side. And then you've also got under counter lighting, there we go. 
and then you've got your fridge which is 12 volt and then more cupboard space bin plates stuff that's been left on here by the current owner to help the new owners out and then you've got the oh, shut it the right way around and then we've got the new world hob grill and oven it's a nice four burner hob of grill and an oven underneath here is just storage space for the gas isolation valve and then if we look up we have more cupboard space there we go and if we look to the left we also have a side hatch as well just to point out there are four radiators on this boat one two three and i believe there's one in the bathroom as well all powered by the abyspatcher diesel heater so as we carry on down the boat we've got a side door for the bathroom to optimize the space there you go there's the fourth one come in this bathroom has been recently renovated as you see looking great very modern with the greys and the whites so you've got your pump out toilet your controls just there nice sink and then you've got your shower uh, looking in really good condition and then you've got hello everyone a bit of storage space here as well toilet roll and then controls for the pumps and stuff like that okay let's carry on so as we carry on down the boat we come across the double so this double extends to five foot wide so it does pull out and it'll drop it the mattress will drop in and you've got a five foot wide bed also offers storage underneath as well and then as we carry on got another cover space as well and then you've got your control panel for central eating this can be controlled on a timer so to come on at certain dates certain times um, it is the upgraded control panel and then another wardrobe just here and you've got your victron multi plus inverter charger I say you can see the charger mode just flashing there so it's currently charging the batteries uh, and as soon as we unplug it'll flick over to inverter mode and then there's the um, switch for the immersion heater and you just got some more space down there as well okay and then if we just close this door we've got the 12 volt distribution board so battery status there you go really good charge water level it is working it's currently showing that it's a quarter full um they are great to have on board but i always recommend well i always say don't take them as gospel and um, always check yourself um by dipping the tanks and that will give you a more accurate reading and then you've got your 12 volt distribution board very well set up so you can control the lights for each section of the boat and then as you go down you've got all different ones and then you fuse these for the helm as well so there you go Tom White one just popped out so I'll just put it back in and then as we go down turn that on there you go ring main live RCD's just there and you can control them as and when you need them um, water heater then you just switch it on in the wardrobe and then you just got a spare one there as well and if we carry on going down we also have drawers with bits and bobs in it some extra padlocks there you go really good and then we come to the back doors again so i'll just where is there we go i'll just shut that there we go and then they shut nice and securely there we go okay i'll take you back to the front of the boat and give you the last few details okay then so the last few details on tn oranges um boat safety um just had just recently had one so it expires on the 24th of november 2025 Hull was last blacked in November 2020 and the anodes were okay as well. And the last time this boat was surveyed was only last, it was in August 2020. So we do have a copy of the survey. The survey was very good. So um, if you do come and view the boat, we can show you the survey. There we go. If you do have any more information about tea and oranges, please do give us a call on 01270 or drop us an email at sales at venetianmarina.co.uk. Um, T 
tea and orange is, is available for viewing, but as you all know by now, viewings are by appointment only. So again, please give us a call and we'll get you booked in to come and view tea and oranges. If you do turn up, we can't guarantee we'll get you in if there is prior bookings. And don't forget, we're putting videos up like this weekly, so please subscribe to our YouTube page and you'll get updates when they arrive. Okay then guys, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.